Welcome, so glad to be back with you guys. And today I'm gonna to show you another 30 minute meal. And this one is really, really easy. It's really quick. And if you want to, there are a few components that you could do yourself or you could just buy off the shelf, you know, for those people who just go and buy things. But today I'm gonna to show you how to make a basil pesto pasta. So what I started off with, just to speed things up, is I already got our pasta in the water. It's nice, it's ready, we're good to go. And I just wanna make sure that when you are boiling pasta, please don't add oil. Don't add these funny stuff that you think your mom told you how to do back in the 90s over there. It doesn't help with anything. The pasta that sticks together is just because it wasn't floured enough or it didn't, um, the water just put it together, but it's, it's okay. You know, pasta is supposed to do that. It's the starches that are on real pasta um, that will separate them. And that's how you can tell the difference. Pasta that normally sticks together hasn't been it doesn't have enough starchiness in it and that's why you must always make sure you get a good brand of pasta. So, so I'm gonna add the pasta into our bowl. I'm just gonna scoop that in there. Okay, pasta, nice. Remember, pasta needs to be al dente. Al dente means to the tooth. It's got a little bit of a snap to it. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in our basil pesto. Basil pesto is really easy to make. In basil pesto, what goes in it is just some cheese, some basil, some cashew nuts, some garlic, and you just blitz it all together with a little bit of oil. It's really simple to make. Give it a good mix. And it's important to do this while the pasta is hot. Please don't make your pasta like an hour in advance and then go make, because if the pasta water is cold, it's not gonna do what it needs to do. I'm gonna add in our Parmesan cheese just to thicken it a bit more. There we go. Oh, and because the water is so hot, it's making, it's allowing the cheese to really emulsify. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, I've got some bacon here. The easiest way to make bacon for those bacon loving people is actually to put it in the oven on a tray on baking paper. What I'm gonna do to that is I'm also gonna add a little bit of honey just before I mix the bacon, just to put it on top. Oh, and already it's smelling so good. The next, what I'm gonna add in, I'm gonna add in some olives, just to give it a different taste, just to break the flavor. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of pickled jalapenos. So we're just gonna mix all of that together. And just like that, you can see how the pasta water that I added with the pasta has really brought everything together into a nice smooth sauce. You're just gonna top it off with a little bit more cheese. And there you go. That's a quick, easy 30 minute meal. Shouldn't take you more than 20, 25 minutes actually if you do the bacon and pasta, everything's at the starting time and easy just like that.